Today, we live in an age of great acceleration, where the Earth is being subjected to a range of growing pressures. As a result, our climate is changing. Air pollution is growing to dangerous levels. Biodiversity losses are mounting. Polar ice is melting. And the anthropogenic footprint is ever increasing, putting a major burden on planetary resources. In order to protect our planet and ensure sustainable development into the future, it's vital that we observe and study the Earth in high detail across a range of temporal and spatial scales. It's imperative that we keep a health check on our planet to ensure we understand potential risks to life and identify solutions to protect it, to recognise emerging threats to our fragile ecosystem, to discover new and more efficient routes to development, and to better understand the fundamental mechanics of the Earth's system. The Centre for Earth Observation Science at the University of Brighton has been established to do just this. The Centre for Earth Observation Science is home to research and enterprise expertise and infrastructure across the earth and environmental sciences at the University of Brighton. It brings together all of our nationally and internationally renowned researchers who employ a host of techniques to monitor the Earth system across a range of scales, from the macro, using instruments on board satellites orbiting the Earth, to monitor large swathes of the planet, to the micro scale using microscopy to investigate mineral surfaces. Research excellence fostered within the Centre for Earth Observation Science cuts across atmospheric, earth and ocean sciences and built environment disciplines. Our research and enterprise activities cover five interlinked themes. Observing the atmosphere, our air. Observing the hydrosphere and cryosphere, our waters and ice. Observing the lithosphere, our land observing the biosphere, the life on the planet, and observing the anthroposphere, human structures and activity. All through the lens of state-of-the-art remote sensing and in-situ analytical methodologies, in order to push the boundaries of discovery science and answer fundamental questions regarding the Earth system, it is our aim to conduct world-leading interdisciplinary discovery science using Earth observation techniques to help us understand and develop scientific and technological solutions for the changing Earth system to safeguard the environment for future generations. As well as uniting a team of expert researchers, the Centre for Earth Observation Science brings together a wide array of state-of-the-art analytical instrumentation and trained user experience. Our specialist research facilities include the Brighton Atmospheric Observatory, a comprehensively instrumented permanent atmospheric laboratory dedicated to monitoring the Earth's troposphere and stratosphere. A fleet of various drone types, including fixed-wing and multi-rotor platforms, plus sensors used for geomorphological and ecological surveys, including a 3D scanner and multispectral and hyperspectral images. A mass spectrometry suite containing, amongst other instruments, proton transfer reaction, liquid chromatography and inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry. And a geochemical laboratory with analytical techniques such as X-ray fluorescence, and X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. Our facilities at the University of Brighton also include an environmental laboratory, environmental genomics suite, image analysis suite, and chemical analysis facilities, as well as an array of field portable equipment, such as portable XRF, GPS, and TLS. The Center for Earth Observation Science is bringing together specialists researching in different disciplines, crossing the boundaries between them, allowing us to work together to create a much more integrated understanding of our planet. Our researchers collaborate with both national and international partners across a wide range of disciplines, making scientific observations of the Earth to drive discovery science, pushing the boundaries of innovation and informed policy. For example, over recent years, we've worked with NASA to improve our understanding of links between remotely sensed data and vegetation characteristics, used our atmospheric observatory as a community facility within the national AMOF network to monitor changing air quality, We've worked with the Environmental Agency to monitor and mitigate against invasive species and applied our monitoring techniques alongside Historic England to help deepen our understanding of historic monuments and landscapes. Our interdisciplinary work, funded by UK research councils, the EU and various charities, has been making tangible impacts in the real world, focusing on addressing environmental and societal challenges across many sectors, from science to policy, industry, public education and heritage preservation. For instance, our work with the Brighton Atmospheric Observatory has helped us understand the impacts of COVID-19 lockdown policies on changing atmospheric composition, as well as linkages between air pollution and health. Our work on the rare earth element resources required for decarbonisation of energy and transport 
will help in improving metal recovery and the environmental sustainability of resources. Researchers in the centre work actively on estimating and assessing risks that relate to earth movements, such as landslides, riverbank erosion and desert storms, in areas across the globe from the Atacama Desert to Canada to China and many more places. And our research into the Earth's arid regions has led to greater constraints on climate change on the million year scales in desert regions such as Afghanistan, Ethiopia and Atacama. Looking to the future, it is our goal to create an environment within the centre that nurtures the talent of its members, that supports existing collaborations and fosters new ones. It is our goal to provide a platform to allow researchers to collaborate in new and novel ways across disciplines with state-of-the-art infrastructure, to make advancements in discovery science with a view to developing ever more impactful research to support our global community.